All right, so we are going to talk about health insurance. A lot of my readers have been asking what we're doing as far as health insurance now that my husband is self-employed. So we don't have anybody in this household that works for a regular corporation. So we don't have any group um, insurance benefits available to us because no one works for a regular company in our household. We're all self-employed now. And so because of that, obviously we had to go and research our options because even if we went through the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, to get insurance, our premiums and our deductibles were going to be astronomical. Astronomical, y'all. It was a little heart-wrenching because we we're like, how are we going to afford this? Like, we want to be self-employed. We want, this is what we want, but this insurance debacle is going to make it so we can't have that. And so we decided that we're not going to have insurance. Yep, you heard that right. We don't have insurance. What we do have is a healthcare sharing ministry. The one that we're using is Christian Healthcare Ministries. Um, we absolutely love them. We pay $450 a month, which is great. Absolutely wonderful. And the great thing about this is that even if we did have a fourth child, which don't worry, we have no plans of having a fourth child anytime soon. But even if we did, that 450 is not going to go up. That's the most that we are going to pay for our family, no matter how large our family gets. It doesn't matter if we end up having eight kids, which my husband would have had a heart attack if that happened. But hey, you know, I can dream, right? So even if we had eight kids, it's still going to be 450. It's not going to go up, which is awesome. Because we have a Christian healthcare ministry, there are certain things that they won't pay for. Now, because they're not insurance, that means that they're not held to the same laws, standards, and regulations that insurance companies are held to, um, which I actually think is kind of a good thing. But because again, we have a Christian healthcare ministry, that means that if you take any type of contraceptives like birth control, they're not going to pay for it. Fertility treatments, they're not going to pay for it. Um, we're Catholic, so that's not a big deal for us because we don't use contraceptives. But um, if that's something that you use, then you'll have to really think about that because they're not going to cover that as far as um, a prescription goes. For us, there's not there's not really a deductible because, again, this isn't insurance, but um, you can call it a deductible, if you will, um, which is $500. So if you know somebody has to go to the emergency room or whatever, we will be responsible to pay $500 of our own money uh, towards whatever the bill is. And then the rest, so long as it's, you know, a treatment that, um, is not against biblical standards, Christian healthcare ministry will pay for it. Now, the downside of this is that we have to pay for all of our kids well visits out of pocket, which means all their vaccines and all of that, which I will tell you that kind of stinks. Now, however, though, the most that we have ever paid out of pocket is actually $500. And that was for both, uh, well, that was for two of our three kids. They were seen at one time um, for their checkups to get vaccines and all that stuff, um, which was kind of a rarity because before that, um, the, the total was only $200. So the only reason it was right at 500 was because two of them were being seen at the same time and both getting vaccines and all that jazz. It does take a little bit of planning and preparing, which is why we have set up a medical fund. It's just a checking account that we're putting aside money towards to help pay for any of our medical expenses. We've actually had this medical fund for a while, but we really haven't done much with it. Um, we never qualified for a health savings account. And because this is not insurance, there's no way for us to qualify for a health savings account with the healthcare sharing ministry because there really is no deductible. And so we just have a regular checking account set up in place that we are going to be using as our medical fund. Again, we've had this account for a while, but we really haven't been contributing to it like we should. And so now we are starting to contribute more regularly to it from our budget. So then that way we have money set aside for all of our children's well visits um, for the $500 quote unquote deductible and all of that. So then that way we're not having to come out of our regular checking account that's for the bills and for anything else that we might need like groceries and things like that. Um, and so that's how we're making it work without having insurance. And so um, I'd love to hear how you're doing. Do you have insurance? Do you have a healthcare sharing ministry? You know, what do you think about it? Is it working for you? Do you think this will be an option for you if you're self-employed or considering to become self-employed? I'd love to hear what you think. So please leave me a comment or please send me an email at jesse at jessiefarron.com.